Let's continue binomial factoring. So look at this problem. So I wrote it down a fourth minus b fourth. I know it is not square power. The reason I bring this out though, because it looks really similar to you know, square term factoring formula as well. Okay, so please let me know if it makes sense to you. So can I rewrite, rewrite this? a squared to the square minus b squared to the square yeah basically 2 times 2 becomes 4 so this become a to the fourth power and then this become b to the fourth power so this is same as a squared minus b squared form then you can factor in so what is going to be this becomes a square minus b square and then a square plus b square now look at this form again it is a square minus b square again right therefore you can do one more time so this become a plus b and then a minus b and this one we concluded from the last video it is prime it is not factorable if square power of them has plus sign so you just keep a square plus b square okay then look at this question so 81 x x to the fourth power minus 16 y to the fourth power so first of all, I'm going to switch it as a square power form. Then this becomes, we can write 9x squared to the square minus 4y squared to the squares, right? Okay, then now we just complete square form. So now we can make up Binomial factoring, so this becomes 9x square minus 4y square, and then 9x square plus 4y square. Again, so this is already prime terms, but you should think whether we can do one more time. Can we do one more time? Yes, it does. So, this become you can rewrite it, 3x square minus 2y square, and then this term the same, 9x square plus 4y square, then this complete a square minus b square, therefore this answer becomes 3x minus 2y and 3x plus 2y and 9x square plus 4y square. There we, that, that is the final factoring answer for this binomial problem. There is another case of binomial factoring form. So look at this title. The sum and difference of two cubes formula. So, it means whenever you have any uh, binomial form, looks like um, a cube minus b cube, or a cube plus b cube, you can make a factoring. So, please look at this formula and then follow me. So, this become a minus b and then the right side becomes a square plus a b plus b square similarly this becomes a plus b the right side becomes a square minus a b plus b square so when you look at these two formulas, you may notice one fact, which is 
if the sign is minus, then the first factor become single A minus single B here, right? And the second factor form becomes A squared plus AB plus B squared here. But this is plus here, then the first factor has A plus B, and then second part is start from minus and plus. So that is the key point here. Unless you do correctly, you won't get right, uh, you won't get correct factoring form. So please be careful. Okay, then from now on, we will talk about a few problems. Number one, y cube minus eight. Y cube minus eight. We can rewrite that. Y cube minus 2 cubed because 8 is 4 times 2, 4, 2 times 2. As a result, 8 become 2 times 2 times 2. Now, this one looks like the first form here. So I'm going to follow this formula and then make factoring of this binomial. Then this becomes y minus 2 and then y square and plus because this is minus then this must be plus and then 2y also plus 2 square which is 4 that will be the answer for this binomial factoring okay another one So, 8x cubed plus 27 here. Then, this one we can rewrite 2x to the cubic power plus 3 to the cubic power. Then, this one looks like this form here now. Therefore, I'm going to follow that. So, factoring becomes 2x plus 3 and then second term, so 2x squared, which is 4x squared. Now, this uh, start from plus, then this term must be minus and 2x times 3 becomes 6x and then 3 squared so becomes 9. That will be the answer for this problem.